Welcome to this presentation, which is about computational fragment-based drug design using the software MedSumo. This is a rather new method published in 2009 in both GCIM and GCAMD journal. Here, this is an application concerning the protein kinase EGFR and uh, all the, the results and the graphical user interfaces that I will be using are available for download for this free trial from the Medit website. So that's, that's, that's the website. Now let's go to the graphical user interface. This is how it should be uh, installed. Once you finish with the download, you should go to the Sumo menu and, and have this uh, offline which is selected that means that everything will be run locally using uh, local PDB files you can go to the load, load sumo run and here you have the two computations which are available the one about EGFR is this 1xkk you can just double click on that and uh, get it open this is a uh, Metsumo result grid and uh, this, is, um, uh, uh, this is a target based software and you can look at the, the query that was used by clicking here on the gray line and look, show the secondary structure. So the query is, uh, is the protein kinase. Uh, we can also visualize the query ligand. Here in that case, the query is made uh, around the six angstrom environment of the this co-crystallized ligand, which is called FMM. The query is in fact made of surface chemical features. You can see here one of them, this, this edge bond uh, acceptor, there are edge bond donors, some hydrophobic features, some positive, positive charge and negative charges, some hydrophobic stacking and also some specific group like sile okay that's that's description and it's actually a graph of a 3d graph of the surface chemical feature so that gives a very high quality results in terms of uh, similarity of the heats and it's not only similarity but also once the similarity is found then it is trying to make superimposition of the similar proteins to the to the query so let's now look at one of the heat and uh, we can uh, select one of them, uh, for instance that one. So here, if we click, click here, then we get the fragment of this, of this file, which is the genus G, GK2, GK2 genus kinase here, where we can visualize this fragment coming from this ligand in the reference frame of EGFR. I can switch off the ACF of the query. So you see that this green fragment is coming from this uh, genus kinase and is posed in the reference frame of the EGFR query. So that's the, the way it's working. Some fragments of PDB ligand are collected in the binding site of the query based on local similarity. And this local similarity, you can see in that case, it, it is this set of surface chemical features uh, which are shared between this heat protein and the, and the query. And we can visualize the heat protein here, also in green. You see a very nice match uh, in, the, in the hinge region. It's less match elsewhere. So that's the, the, basics, the basics of, uh, of uh, how it works. It's based on local similarity. And we can uh, now close this, uh, this uh, 3D viewer. There is uh, something we can do. We can uh, uh, calculate uh, some, um, some function like uh, the score of the heat fragments in the reference frame of the query. We can compute that. But it's only a list of 400 fragments which are here available. And usually you, for protein kinase you have something like three or four thousand uh, fragments. So that's a small amount, but you will see that it's, it's more than enough to, uh, to get some, uh, some results using that. So now we have this, the scoring of the fragment in the reference of the query, and we can visualize that by going to the 
PHP inter hidden query. So now we have the this value. You see that it is pretty negative, meaning that it's uh, uh, likely to be uh, a favorable uh, interaction. Uh, we, we can also select and see uh, the hits which are coming from uh, protein kinase and not from protein kinase. Let's visualize the not from protein kinase. So we have uh, 30 hits among those 400 which are not coming from protein kinase. As they are selected, we can go to the selected hit tab. And here what we uh, what we have, we have uh, the the hit, we have the scoring function here. So it's more interesting when it's a, a negative value, meaning that the fragment fits nicely. So we can uh, we can visualize uh, so some of them. And for that we can uh, sort them according to PLP inter. So we have them uh, sorted according to the likelihood to fit. Or we can visualize this uh, uh, fragment coming from uh, PDE5. Uh, okay, we have the fragment here. We can visualize the query. Remove the surface chemical feature of the query. Okay, now we have this fragment coming from PDE5. And uh, we can um, have here the you, you have here the surface chemical features which are shared between the the protein kinase of the query and the heat. Okay, here we are. So uh, there is some uh, similarity at some points with some autophobic features and some edge bond donor here. This is why this fragment from PD five is coming there. Uh, we can uh, visualize some others, like the one from the synapsin. Uh, this one, this one. They are mostly uh, interfamily fragments coming from other protein family than the kinase, bind binding to the hinge. And we can also go down the list, and uh, we can also find uh, some. Uh, some other fragments which are in uh, different places. You can see that here this is the, the signature of the heats. So that's uh, this one is mostly uh, hydrophobic, and we can uh, visualize also that one here. And uh, you see that it's uh, a fragment which is uh, in the in the halosteric part. Uh, I should remove that to make that clear and also visualize the ligand of the query. And you can see that uh, all, the, all the fragments are somehow mimicking the, the query ligand here to the hinge and uh, this one in the, in the halosteric pocket. So, um, so now the, the question is uh, how to, uh, to, to have some uh, Take advantage of that because if you if you look at uh, at those 400 hits that are 400 fragments and uh, what we try to do is to combine them to make a heat-like compound and uh, so to to do that we use the Medligen software and we open that with all hits and before going into the hybridization part and analysis part uh, we'll finish this uh, short video by showing you all the material which is available here that you can uh, use in the trial but I will also use that in the in the following training you can visualize that all those fragments in the in this viewer so, and you can see that uh, it's, um, it's a lot of information which is available here and there are you can see the all those fragments are 3D line in the reference frame of the query and we can open the context and visualize the secondary structure. So this is what we got from the computational fragment based approach by collecting fragment of PDB ligand. We have a set of fragments posed in the reference frame of the query. And in the next video, I will show you how to use Medligon to 
hybridize these ligands and those fragments to make actual ligands. 